Hey Cacher, Derek here at Break 6 Clan. Today we're going to be placing the gadget cache that the Nano Kids and I built last week and we're going to be giving you some tips. Let's get started. Okay, so now I'm here out with the Nano Kids and we are, where are we at Curtis? The Wolf Creek River Trail. Okay, so we're out here on this trail and this is part of their Lego Robotics project. And But you're probably going, why geocaching is Lego Robotics? Well, Nikki, why, why, why is this? We've made this cache for innovation project for Lego Robotics. Our innovation project is a project that um, will motivate somebody to get active, which is geocaching. That's really cool. And we have some stats, the reason why we're placing it in this kind of a location. And we're going to get to those stats here in a little bit. But what do you say, guys? Should we start going and go hide this? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's go. We surveyed a total of 239 geocachers, and 80% of them said that geocaching was a form of exercise. Two percent of those geocachers wanted to hike or walk a trail to get the cache. And 38% of those said that they would hike a half a mile to get the cache. Then one of my favorite stats was that 40% wanted to find a traditional cache and 38% wanted to find a gadget cache. So what did we do? We, we treat a traditional gadget cache. All right, so now we've made it to GZ and I wanted to give you a little bit of updates on the cache itself. So last week I said that I was gonna be using liquid nails to secure the plexiglass in there. Well, I did not use liquid nails, I actually used some silicone because the silicone will expand in case it gets hot or anything like that and it won't crack as easy as liquid nails would. The other thing that I did was that on the back of the cache itself I put this lock mechanism, this bolt like thing, which is what you use to put on the front of the ammo can to put a secure a lock to it. Well I put it on the back so I could secure this a lot easier to the tree um, versus trying to attach the bicycle chain to the handle. And that way I put a lock here and I'll run the bicycle chain through this to attach it to the tree. Just some updates to the cache itself so that it will not be able to be muggled as easy. Okay, so now the cache is secured to this tree. It's not gonna go anywhere. And another tip that I would recommend is that I built the cache page before I ever brought it out here. And I knew the location that I wanted to put it. And I built the cache page and I sent the reviewer a message asking, can you double check this? I just want to make sure that there are no other stages from any multis or any other thing in this area where I was going to place this. So that is another tip. Ask the reviewer for if this location is clear. All right, so we got the cash place and it's in a great location. And we're probably going to make this premium for a little while just to kind of make sure that it is safe because, you know, sometimes that's important to do that. And the other thing that we were checking when we came out here was actually double checking the terrain. And this is a two and a half terrain. And I think, do you think that's pretty accurate guys? Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna keep it at a two and a half. So really thought this was really great. I hope you have found some great tips in this. And to also let you know that little bolt that I put on the ammo can so we can lock it to the tree a little bit better. I have that as a link in the description and that is an affiliate link. So I would appreciate it if you click on that, that's gonna help the channel. So thank you for joining us. But hey, don't go anywhere. What do they need to do, guys? They need to click one of these videos over here. Right over their face. Click on one of these videos right over here and find the story behind the cache.